All right, shalom, shalom. The message that I have upon my spirit to bring to you today is entitled, The Carnal Minded Cannot Comprehend the Spiritual. Okay? <clears throat> this is the next message that I'm instructed to bring to you. It was recorded this morning. All right? And uh, as you're going to hear in the audio when we started up, I uh, did tell you around about the time it was like a something a.m. this morning, okay. Um, I'm not gonna keep this intro long at all, okay. Um, not sure when the heck I'm gonna be able to soar in my purpose and what the Father has given me to do upon this earth. Okay, it seems like all hell has come against me to try to prevent me from doing my spiritual mission upon this earth. And quite frankly, I am tired, okay? I'm tired, bro. I got to keep it real. But however, I'm going to keep bringing these messages by way of the Spirit, however long um, I am able to do so, okay? So, that being said, <clears throat> let's go ahead and jump in. All right, because it's quite long, and um, I want to try to get it all out today because there's no guarantees, all right? There's mountains that I'm facing that I cannot move in and of my own physical power, my own physical might, okay? I'm being obedient to what I've been instructed to do. I don't care how people feel about it. I don't care what people think about it, okay? I know in my spirit what I've been given to do upon this earth. And I know damn well it ain't pining after money. That's what I'm supposed to do upon this earth. Ain't no way in hell my maker put my spirit in this body to pine after money all the days of my life. Okay? So, no, I'm here to bring you this word by the way of the spirit. But people want to keep spitting on it. You have free agency. All right? Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go. Tiggy. All right, I'm calm. I'm going to first start with this melody, okay? Let me start with the melody. <clears throat> I think I um, brung it before, but I had sung it again on 5-9-24. I recorded it, okay? Born a free spirit. I was born a free spirit. I was born a free spirit. I was born to be completely different. Born to stand in opposition. Born to fight against deception. Born to shatter strong delusions. I was born a free spirit. I was born to be completely different. Born to stand in opposition. Born to fight against deception. Born to shatter strong delusions. Bro, I like that. I really do like that. I was born a free spirit. I was born to be completely different. Born to stand in opposition. Born to fight against deception. Born to shatter strong delusions. <laughs> uh, but I like that. There has to be something else to go with it, bro. There, there's more to this. Like, oh my God, this this song would be freaking fire. This, this would be fire. The name of it is "I Was Born a Free Spirit." 
born a free spirit. Name of this. Born a free spirit. I think I already have it named that, but... All right. <clears throat> so, yeah, that was my second time recording that. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get into the uh, meat. But let me close out of this first. Just a moment. <clears throat> okay. Now. And so I got to record this. Um, right now it is 5 12 24. It is 8 12 a.m. And I'm re listening to my brother Moriel seek the invisible not the visible, to find the truth. All right, now, um, let me go ahead and bring that up. I did not really prepare for this. I didn't really bring up anything except for the scripture um, that we, we're going to be going over, okay? And that's going to be from um, <clears throat> the book of Thomas the Contender, Okay. The book of Thomas the Contender, but first, um, let me take you to my brother Morale's video. The one that I was watching this morning uh, that inspired um, this audio, okay? <clears throat> and another one today. Well, yes, bro, because we're at the end. People need to realize that, okay? So. <clears throat> Not the end of the whole earth, but, uh, you know what? I should have went to history. Yeah, let's go to history, okay? Because it's right here. Seek the invisible, not the visible, to find the truth, okay? How you think you're going to find the truth on surface level in this artificial, superficial-ass world? You were born into deception, people. We were all born into deception, okay? So everything on surface level is polluted and tampered, okay? So you have to seek the invisible, the unseen, okay? Not the scene, not the physical realm, not the things that you learn in this physical realm from physical mortals upon this earth, okay? You're not going to find the truth that way. The only way that you're going to find the truth is in the invisible, the unseen, and those who seek the unseen, okay? But we're not going to be pleasant to carnal-minded people, okay? No, we're not going to be pleasant to carnal-minded people. As a matter of fact, we're going to be a disdain to carnal-minded people. Okay? People that are comfortable and complacent in this physical, mortal reality, the false reality, uh, we are looked at with disdain from those people. Okay, and that's majority of the people upon the face of this earth. All right. One second. <clears throat> okay. Um, it was major confirmation. Uh, the first time that I heard this, it was major confirmation <clears throat> on uh, many things that the Father has given to me. Um, by way of the spirit, okay? Oh, man. And I, I finally found uh, where he was reading from. And it's literally coming out of the book of Thomas the Contender. Okay? The book of Thomas the Contender. As a matter of fact... Hold on a second, people. I did not plan this. I don't even have my coffee. And I really want to go get my coffee, you know? <laughs> so I might take you people with me to go get my coffee, you know? Uh, it ain't going to take long because I, I got the uh, 
oat milk creamer. And I'm trying a different kind. And the uh, name of it is is uh, Sown. S-O-W-N. Sown. It was actually on sale at Whole Foods. Okay? It was on sale at Whole Foods for like a little under $5. You know, it's still a hell of expensive for a little bitty jug, you know. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and show you a picture of it. So one second. I'll bring up Brother Morell in just a moment again when I need him. I'm not going to keep YouTube up if I don't need it. <clears throat> Alright, so there you have it. That's it right there, okay? And, you know... In my opinion, it is better than the oat milk that I was using, okay? This is how the coffee looks when you use this, okay? That's the way I like my coffee, all right? Um, it doesn't taste bad, all right? Um, it's very doable, but the only thing is the price, okay? It's extremely expensive, okay? Um, I get the unsweetened one, all right? I get the unsweetened. Uh, let's see. That's vanilla. I'm looking for the unsweetened. Nope. Unsweetened. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so this is the one that I get. All right, you see, um, GMO free, it's vegan, okay, organic, <clears throat> so let's see, uh, planted, never milked, all right, uh, don't know where the ingredients are. I'm not trying to keep this long, people. I just flow by way of the spirit. I'm trying to... I mean, that's too, way too small. Why don't it show the ingredients? Come on now. All right, there you have it. So it does have canola oil, which I don't really like that it, you know, contains oil. And these gums, okay? But, um, it doesn't have that other poisonous crap <clears throat> that, um, the other oat milk has, right? So, that's what I have, and that's what I used, okay? So. Um, <clears throat> like, I think it's like the, uh, 32 ounce or something like that. I don't know, I had to go look. <laughs> Um, but oh, I had to take it out of that container anyway and put it in a jar because it had gotten a hole in it. <clears throat> One second, people. Bear with me, okay? I'm rolling up crumbs, all right, uh, for a cigarette for when I get my coffee. Um, excuse my voice and all of that, you know, sinuses and whatnot. I never used to have sinus issues, but... I've been crying for a while this morning to the Father. Hey, I keep it real, okay? I keep it real. <clears throat> so, um, that might be why, you know, I keep sniffling and whatnot. You know, I don't really have TP to blow my nose. Um, saving it, you know, for other purposes that uh, is more pressing than blowing my nose. <clears throat> and it's not TP that I have because I'm out of TP, but I've been using paper towels. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is, bruh. The suffering is real, right? The long suffering, lack of compassion, lack of love, lack of empathy, you know, lack of mercy, all right? All of these things being deprived from me, yet I'm sowing these things on a continuous basis. You know, it's the lack of it's the lack of compassion, people. Um, lack of mercy, lack of love, lack of empathy, lack of kindness. You know, that um, 
Uh, I'm not being shown. I'm not being shown any of these things, you know. Um, I am, I'm being shown a lack of these things, okay? Uh, even though everything that I've done has been out of that fruit of the Spirit, okay? A given of myself, selfless, you know? Um, but that's neither here nor there. That's not why I picked up my phone today. Um, I literally picked up my phone <clears throat> because I'm going to let my brother Morial uh, say a few things. And I love my brother, you know, so this ain't no um, hate or nothing like that. Never that. Never that. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm here to add uh, clarity to what I have received. Okay? So one second. Okay. Take it to the next level, okay? Not to tear down my brethren. <clears throat> you don't tear down people that you love, you know? And I love my brother. <clears throat> this notion that, um, Many of my brothers want to hold on to that um, the most high does not love everybody. So it's like my brothers are misguided, okay? Because the most high does not hate, all right? Um, the all power, the all spark is all love. It's like. People have forgotten this, you know, um, and it's due to religion, all right? So give me one second. <clears throat> Let me pull up something right quick. And like I said, I don't want to take a lot of time talking today. Second people <clears throat> work with me. And pull up some things and then I'll get you, okay? Tuggy, baby, chill out. All right. <clears throat> now, the most high, the all power, the all spark of love, life, and all things good is all love, is the very essence of love and life and all things good, okay? Now, all the spirits that are of this power are of the celestial kingdom, okay? And those of the celestial kingdom is infinite love as well. All right? And when we awaken to that, upon the earth, immortality, 
we begin to live that as living witnesses, the extension of the essence of love, life, and all things good. Okay? So, this power is love. Whoever lives in love lives in this power. And this power lives in us. Okay? It is not a blend of good and evil. Okay? For there is no evil whatsoever in divine love. Okay? Perfect love casts out all fear. Perfect love overcomes all hate. Okay? It is all powerful. All right? It is infinite. Love comes from the great spirit. If anyone confesses, or it doesn't have anything to do with confession, all right? If anyone knows that the promised anointed one, the Messiah, all right, that name Jesus, I know many people got a problem with it, bro, but look, that's how it's written in the freaking Bible, okay? So for the babes that are just now waking up and coming into this truth, there's a lot of Gentiles out there that is seeking, all right? So I'm not trying to confuse them, all right? This is the term that they are comfortable with, okay? This is the term that they've come to know, all right? So I am not dogmatic in my belief or any of that over here, okay? It is not about the pronunciation of the name, okay? So if anyone knows that the promised anointed one is an extension of that power and that that power abided in this promised anointed one, and that he was in that power, and that power in him, and we have come to know the love that the Most High has for us. The Most High is love. Whoever abides in love, abides in that same power, and that same power abides in us, okay? It is not singled to one person. It is for anyone. It says, whoever abides in love abides in this power, okay? And this power abides in us, okay? In this way, love has been perfected among us, so that we may have confidence on the day of judgment. We know we will be protected because we operate in divine love. Therefore, we will be shielded by the celestial realm, okay? For in this world, we are just like our parent. Just like our all parent, just like the most high, okay, perfected in love, all right? We know that we are with the Holy One of the all power, the all spark of love, life, and all things good. Let us love one another because love comes from the all spark of love, life, and all things good, okay? Everyone who loves has been born of the great spirit and knows the great spirit as well as the ascended master who came to give us the road map to 
the all spark of love, life, and all things good, the great spirit. This is how the Most High's love was revealed among us, all right, that he sent the promised anointed one, okay, so that we might live through him. His sheep hear his voice and we follow, okay? No one has ever seen the great spirit. But if we love one another, the great spirit remains in us. Why does it say remains in us? Because, bruh, all children love until they're taught to hate. And when they're taught to hate, then the love of the Most High don't dwell in them. Instead, it's been replaced by evil spirits. Okay? So that means the Most High can't remain in wicked vessels of dishonor that hate. Okay? So the Most High remains in us. No one has ever seen the Most High or the Great Spirit. All right? But if we love one another, the Most High remains remains in us and his love is perfected in us behold what manner of love the father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of the great spirit therefore the world knows us not because it knew him not okay nor did it know the true ascended master that came to give the road map. They are, the world is following the Antichrist. All right? Anyone stuck in religion is following the Antichrist. You're, in, you're a part of the abominable church and you don't know it. All right? He that loveth not knoweth not the Most High. For the Most High is love. There's no evil in love. Taigi. He that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him, and he in him, and hereby we know that he abideth in us by the Spirit which he has given us. Okay? A holy power is both just and merciful, never unjust. This power would have to be all love. One second while I deal with my cat. I mean, always doing this stuff, bro. I'm, I gotta get this done today. All right. So now, this will be in a, this. This is the all power. Okay. All just. Okay. Both just and merciful. Never unjust. Never evil. Okay. Never unkind. Okay. That eternal law judges. All right. Because we will all reap what we sow. Okay. The evil that comes upon us is from either our own hands or from the generational curses or is trials and tribulations purging the righteous so that we can receive our crowns of glory, okay? Now, getting the crown of glory don't come without persevering through the wicked, okay? Enduring. Keeping love, compassion, mercy in your heart, regardless of how you are being treated like trash. Alright? That's how you receive a crown of glory. A real crown of glory. Alright? Not temporary. <laughs> oh, God. People are chasing after the temporary crowns. Alright? I don't want temporary. Okay? I want the real deal. Now, so... We dealt with this, all right? Please stop blending good and evil and mixing that, putting that on 
a deity and wanting to psych yourself out to believe that that is the all power. Okay. No, it's not the all power. It's a false God. Okay. So now, you know, I'm sorry. I ain't getting no tact. Okay. I say it like it is people, you know, receive it or not. It is the truth. Okay. There is an adversary. All right. And all evil and unclean things, destruction, and all of that wickedness, that comes from the adversary. Falsehoods, lies, deceit, manipulation, all right, all of that comes from the adversary, all right? I hope that we can clear this up, people. The all power, the all spark is all love, okay, is all good, is all compassion, is all merciful, but at the same time is just, okay? And there's an eternal law that's in effect, people, that you are going to reap what you sow. So though he does love everybody, the very essence of love, all right, the all spark, the giver of the breath of life, okay? Although this power does love everybody, um, does not mean that this power ain't going to allow you to reap what you sow. Of course, this power is going to allow you to reap what you sow. But this power is not rejoicing and, you know, happy that you're being destroyed. No, it grieves this power that you're being destroyed. All right. It grieves the most high when we suffer. Okay, that's why the Most High long suffers. Okay, the Most High is not evil. All right, um, the Ascended Master is not evil. Okay, um, I'm trying to make this as clear as possible, people. Okay, now the one that laughs at your destruction is the adversary. Okay, the one that gets pleasure out of another's agony and pain is evil okay that that's that's the essence of evil all right these these powers are polar opposite people okay so you have the power of love and you have the power of hatred okay you have the power of good and you have the power of evil why in the hell do you people want to keep blending these things you know, as if that's one power. No. <clears throat> okay? And we've been given free agency to freely choose. Okay? Freely choose what power we serve. All right? Now, the power that we serve will line up to our actions. Okay? Our actions will line up to the attributes of of the power that we're professing that we serve, okay, that we say we serve, all right, if you say that you serve the all power of love, life, and all things good, then this is the qualities that you should have within you, okay, love, life, and all things good, okay, that means you don't hate nobody, that means you ain't out to hurt nobody, that means you do not get pleasure out of seeing people suffer. Okay? It's like, bro, I don't know how else to make this clear. The Most High is not both good and evil. So, no. The Most High does not hate anybody. Hates iniquity. That's different. Okay? Just like I hate this system, all right? I hate this world that I've been forced to live in, but I don't hate people. I hate the coldness of hearts, okay? But the people don't understand and don't want to understand why they have their cold hearts. So it makes life hell for the children of light upon the earth. Because we don't seek after wealth of this world. We don't seek after the things of this world. 
Therefore we have no place in this world. But we do have a place with the Most High. And the Most High is able to utilize us to speak this word to you. And it's those of us that line up accordingly to his attributes. Okay? And there's many people salty about that. They sought you because they know that they don't line up to his attributes. Okay? And because they don't line up to his attributes, and I'm not talking about my brother Maria, all right? I'm talking about the charlatan. Okay? I just wanted to clarify so my brother Maria don't um, think that I'm talking about him, nor anyone else think I'm talking about my brother Maria. I'm talking about the charlatans, okay? Um, and, and, you know, the pretenders, okay? They're, like, my brother Muriel is genuine, all right? And there's a lot of the brutes, all right? A lot of the brutes, like Big Judah, all right? Um, a whole bunch of them, bro, I, I, I talk about them a lot. Spiritual like passing through, all right? A lot of them are terrestrial, okay? They're, they're like terrestrial kingdoms. They're not holy wicked. I'm talking about the holy wicked one from the terrestrial kingdom. That's deliberately misleading people astray. Okay? And, and because they're deliberately misleading people astray, um, they they feel some type of way about us real ones. Okay? That, and that's just what it is. That's why he said, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be you therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. Okay? That's the pretenders. All right? And the pretenders are of this telestial kingdom down here. Okay? But then you have, you know, those from the terrestrial kingdom. All right? Which many of my brothers and sisters are from this kingdom here. All right, and they're the ones that's blending good and evil, you know, I guess because they're in the middle here. They're in the middle between all good and all evil, you know, so this is where their minds are at, okay? They can't comprehend all good because, you know, um, of... The veil that's been placed over their minds, you know, they, it's like they, they cannot trust in, you know, an outside force for protection and or provision, okay? So they want to protect themselves. That's why they carry their, their weapons, their man-made weapons, all right? They're on the broad way, all right? They want, they seek in revenge, okay? Um, they're, they're seeking to deal with the telestial kingdom and all of that, you know, want to enact vengeance, okay? Upon wickedness, okay? Um, they're, they're, uh, stuck on the outer shell, the body, okay? Um, the physicality and earning money and things like that, okay? They follow in the broad road because they cannot see outside of this reality and outside power. They're not seeking this outside power for a pre for provision, okay? So they are providing for themselves on this broad road. That is the system that was wrought over us, forcing all of us to provide for ourselves by earning money. And because they are doing this toilsome life, okay, that was brought over them by this wicked ass kingdom here. They are salty towards those of us on the straight and narrow. Okay, which is bringing damnation upon themselves because they're going to reap all the judgment that they are doing against us. So everything that they are doing to us because of their ego and their saltiness and all of these things, they're going to be judged for these things. Okay, so anyway, um, you need to be careful who you are mistreating upon the earth. Because there are some of us, a few of us, that are on the straight and narrow way. Okay? We operate in love. Okay? Open-hearted souls. All right? 
Don't mistreat people. But yet we've been mistreated our entire life. By people from this kingdom and this kingdom. They, they want to silence us. Um, they don't want us around, okay? Uh, they they uh, project false realities and all of these things, okay? Um, Mar Marielle never never done that to me, okay? Big dude they ain't never done that. You know, spiritual I ain't never done that. But they don't really know me either, you know? Um, but, I, I mean, I've spoken with Marielle. But um, the rest of them, I, I, haven't I haven't had no contact with them, okay? But anyway, man, that's not even what I was trying to talk about, you know? It's, it's just the fact that, uh, you know, the reason why they don't want to separate good apart from evil, okay? It's because they're still participating in some of the evil. Okay, and they don't want to come to the realization that what they're doing is evil. Therefore, they uh, they're comfortable with believing that the Most High is both good and evil. But um, we're going to deal with this today, you know, because my brother Maria, watch out, baby. You're in the middle of the story. Watch out. My brother Maria, he was like, you know, he, he's saying that, you know, the most I don't love everybody, but the most I does love everybody. Okay? He loves you so much that, you know, he wants you to understand. So, you know, in order for you to understand what it's like to be in someone else's shoes, you gonna have to reap what you've sown. And he's gonna allow it. And, and he has a long suffer. He long suffers. You know? <clears throat> As, you know, the people suffer. And creation suffers. Alright? This does not bring pleasure to our ascended master. This does not bring pleasure to the all power of love, life, and all things good, you know, like that would be sadistic. And so, yes, they mixed that sadistic, twisted doctrine in the scriptures. Okay, because you can find in the scriptures where it's saying that God laughed, you know, at their punishment and, and that, you know, the most I rejoice to do evil to people, you know, is in your scriptures that the most high sends evil spirits and all of these things. Okay, you got to have discernment, people. Okay, you got to have discernment. All right, because though th that attribute is contrary to my power, okay? Um, the Most High's heart is grieved because of the hardness of hearts. For 40 years I was grieved with that generation and said, it is a people who go astray in their hearts, okay? Majority of humanity has gone astray in their hearts. Their hearts are hardened. Okay, their hearts are set upon money and materialistic things. Okay, and they do not know the maker of their spirit, the lover of their soul. Okay, they, they don't know the essence of love, life, and all things good. Okay, all they know is the masqueraders, which are demons and devils portraying themselves to be angels of light, okay? Portraying themselves as good, but they are like as if they're the voices of the Most High, and this is all throughout your scripture. But they are nothing but Satan's ventriloquists using ignorant humans as their dummies, okay? You want to blindly believe everything that you read in a physical book. That's ignorance, Okay? You have to have the spirit of discernment, the spirit of truth, okay? The Holy Spirit, the Ruach 
okay? Leading and guiding you, all right? That way, you won't be deceived by demons, seducing spirits, okay? The law never changed, people. For whatsoever a man sow with, that is what he will reap, okay? The law was set in motion by the great spirit, all right? There's an eternal law of love, life, and all things good, okay? It is to keep balance in the universe and in all of creation, whatever the hell you want to call it. Law of attraction, cause and effect, sowing and reaping, okay? The name of it is irrelevant, but you are going to receive the karma that you put out. The energy that you put out. You put out negative energy. That's what's going to come to you when a time interval is due. Okay? And now we're in that time. We're in a paradigm shift. Okay? For 40 plus years of my life, I didn't have no understanding how I, I could be, you know, generous and kind and open-hearted and all of these things to people who literally took advantage and, you know, treated me like trash and did not appreciate these qualities within me, but did everything in their power to try to stamp it out of me, all right, being mistreated my whole entire life, even after coming into the knowledge of who I truly am and what my mission is upon this earth, still being mistreated by, by the majority of people, okay? But having to stand strong on the truth of this word, okay? Because it ain't my word. So I know that he's going to overturn my suffering. And those that's been causing all of this misery, all of this suffering, all of this affliction upon all humanity and all creation, your time is up. The living witnesses is here declaring this to you. It's time for you to humble yourself and repent. Change your heart so that you do not reap great destruction. Okay? That's exactly what you've been sowing. So that's what you're about to reap. Unless you begin to overturn these things. Okay? Only way you can overturn it is to humble yourself and repent, people. Do what you can to help ease the suffering and the misery of his people. Okay, so you, you know not what you're saying, beloved Bruce, okay? You, you know not what you're saying about the lover of your soul, all right? The maker of your spirit, the lover of your soul. We got to stop blaspheming his name, people. There is an adversary. Like, why is this so hard for people to comprehend? You know, clearly we know that there's an adversary, all right? So, you know, all evil and deceit and, you know... Pleasure and other suffering, that don't come from the celestial kingdom, all right? That comes from the wicked kingdom, all right? Like, how can you possibly think that he would get pleasure out of people suffering? No, we suffer because we reject truth and knowledge, okay? We suffer and we, we do wrong to our own peril, okay? To our own detriment. Now let me show you that one second. Because it's all throughout the scripture, okay? And it's not the most high that bringeth this upon us, okay? I mean, damn people, if we chose to be obedient to the eternal law, if we all chose that, there would never be any suffering. There would never be any evil. 
There will never be any misery. There will never be any bloodshed, none of that, okay? No pain, no agony, none of that, okay? We only suffer because of our disobedience. Proverbs 15.10 Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. So all of you who hate reproof by way of the spirit of truth, you are about to die. <clears throat> Baruch 117 through 18 for we have sinned before Yahuwah and, dis and disobeyed him and have not hearkened unto the voice of Yahuwah our power to walk in the commandments that he gave us openly okay so this is why we reaped what we had reaped okay this is why we this is why Jacob whose name was changed to Israel uh, the seed of the colonized lands. This is why we were taken into captivity and destroyed. Okay. Because we did not walk in the commandments that he gave us openly. Okay. I got many videos breaking that down. All right. Second Maccabees 732 through 33. For we suffer because of our sins and through the living power. And uh, I'm sorry. And though the living power um, be disappointed with us a little while for our chastening and correction, you know, uh, yet shall he be at one again with his servants. Okay. All right. Now the great spirit don't get angry, but is long suffering at our disobedience. Okay. And long suffering that we have to reap affliction. All right. Do you seriously think that the great spirit has been happy, uh, you know, um, <sighs> rejoicing, uh, at us hanging in trees, uh, you know, and how our people were treated in this land, you know, at the hands of the worst of the heathen crosses burnt in our yards and all of these different things that came upon us. Do you seriously think the ascended master was pleased in all of this? Do you seriously think that he was happy that we were literally being slaughtered and destroyed and raped and all of these wicked things that was allowed to come upon us? No. But had to long suffer it all of this time. Allowing the Gentiles their free agency, all right? And allowing us to reap the iniquity of our fathers and our own iniquity, okay? Right, those who don't keep the eternal law of love is gonna freaking reap what they have sown. But you know, they will have a life like mine in this physical life for now, for the time being. You know, and I understand and realize that no, it don't make a, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense at all. You know, and it sucks, bro. My life sucks in the physical, okay? I gotta keep it real. My life sucks in the physical, all right? But yes, I do operate, you know, out of these qualities of the one that I serve. You know, it is the simple fact that this world, this system has been established by the wicked. And I was born into this. And the hearts of the people want to be cold towards me because I have the eyes to see that this whole damn system, this reality that we have been presented is only evil. And it's like, I don't, like, I understand why people can't comprehend. It's because they are carnal minded, okay? All they can see is this physical reality. All right. Now, um, that's what I was saying. You know, um, those of us who have awakened in a land of our captivity and came back to the all power of love, life and all things good. Well, we are at the end. OK. And so the hearts of the people have already waxed cold. OK. They they are already conditioned 
in the mentality and the ways of this world, which is, you know, capitalism, all right, get money by any means necessary and, you know, screw your neighbor, you know, who cares about your neighbor as long as you have what you need, as long as you and your family is good, all right, that's the mentality of this, uh, of most people, okay, and that is not love. That is the opposite of love. Okay? That is this right here, Lucifer's plan. All right? Um, the plan of Lucifer, whose purpose and intent has always been centered in selfishness. All right? And clearly he has great power and influence over the hearts of the children of men. And this because of the veil that has been placed over their minds, that they do not remember the things of the Father. Okay? So this is why. This is why freaking all humanity and all creation groans and suffers. Okay? There's a reason for this. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Okay? But it's not going to last forever. All right? The children of light has been risen. Okay? For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. Okay? Now, one second. You know, it is the simple fact that this world, this system, has been established by the wicked. And I was born into this. And the hearts of the people want to be cold towards me because I have the eyes to see that this whole damn system, this reality that we have been presented, is wholly evil. I don't fit into it. I'm an enigma. Um, my brother is going to be reading from the book of Thomas the Contender. I'm going to go ahead and get it right quick, okay? Because, bruh, well, I, might as well, I might as well do it now that it's on my spirit. You know what I'm saying? Um... Well, give me just a moment. Let me actually... Uh, close out of some things, all right, so that, you know, it's not so dang laggy on me, okay, let me see here, all right, his law is written upon our hearts, people, okay, you know you're supposed to love your neighbor as you do yourself, all right, you know you're supposed to be kind and generous to your neighbor because this is how you would want to be treated, okay? Now, uh, it was translated by John D. Turner, most likely a Gentile, okay? <clears throat> The secret words that the Savior spoke to Judas Thomas, which I, even I, Matthias, wrote down while I was walking, listening to them speak with one another. The Savior said, quote, Brother Thomas, while you have the time in the world, listen to me, and I will reveal to you the things you have pondered in your mind. See, I ponder a lot in my mind, bro. That's pondering, that's being in your conscience, okay? Yes, one second. All right. So we flow by with the spirit. Give me one second. The moment you start watching your thoughts, a higher level of consciousness becomes activated. Okay? One of the most underrated ingredients for having a good life is a clear conscience. To know you aren't out here doing people dirty, hiding who you are, or screwing people over lets you sleep peaceful at night. Karma is real. Energy is contagious. Live accordingly. Okay? 
One second. When we oppose the hidden conscience, it does us hurt. When we betray it, it judges us. All right? When you hear the living word via the spirit of truth, it is your conscience that's, that, that's judging you, not us who speak the living word. Okay? One second, people. So you want to purify your conscience. Your conscience is the part of you that hears the Most High. All right? Your conscience ought to be purified because it is the justification of the inward witness. Okay? See, I ponder a lot in my mind, bro. That's pondering, that's being in your conscience, okay? Um, going over your life in your conscience, all right? Going over your actions in your conscience, all right? Going over um, how you feel about different people, you know? Releasing any kind of anger or ill feelings, releasing that. <clears throat> you know, not harvesting it in your heart, you know, not wanting to deal with it, okay? I don't harvest any of that in my heart, all right? I literally let it all go, okay? I release it. My heart is open, okay? I have an open heart, not a closed, hard, stony heart, okay? Um, that's the best way I can explain it, all right? <clears throat> Um, now, since it has been said that you are my twin and true companion, examine yourself and learn who you are, in what way you exist, and how you will come to be. Since you will be called my brother, it is not fitting that you be ignorant of yourself. Know thyself, and thou shalt know the universe and God. Know thyself, and thou shalt know the universe and God. That's a KRS verse. KRS-1, okay? I'm not sure. Yeah, most people should know who KRS-1 is, all right? Know thyself, and thou shalt know the universe and God, Okay? And I know that you have understood because you had already understood that I am the knowledge of the truth. So while you accompany me, although you are uncomprehending, you have, in fact, already come to know. And you will be called the one who knows himself. You will be called the one who knows himself. Know thyself, and thou shalt know the universe and God. Know thyself, and thou shalt know the universe and God. For he who has not known himself has known nothing. But he who has known himself has at the same time already achieved knowledge about the depth of the all spark, the all power of love, life, and all things good. So then, you, my brother Thomas, have beheld what is obscure to men, that is, what they ignorantly stumble against. Obscure means hidden. So I have beheld what is hidden, what is obscure to most people. This is why I'm hated and detested. Okay? One second. Look up this term obscure. Obscure. Concealed, not seen, hidden even.
not discovered or known about uncertain, unclear, uncertain, unknown, in doubt, doubtful, dubious, hide, okay, conceal, cover, veil, shroud, screen, mask, cloak, all right, deeper mysteries, okay, this is what I have obtained, okay, and because I have obtained this um, via the Spirit, hold on a second, because there's a scripture coming to mind. It's the glory of the Most High to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. Okay? The heaven for height and the earth for depth. Hmm. Wow. So that is Proverbs 25 2. All the depth of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of the Most High. How unsearchable are his judgments and untraceable his ways. That's not true. We do know his ways. We know him by his attributes. We know the Most High by the attributes of love, life, and all things good. All right. The secret things belong to the Most High, our power. But the things revealed belongs to us and to our children forever, so that we may follow all the words of the eternal law. So, yes, it's the honor, it's the glory of the Most High to conceal a matter, um, and the honor of kings to search it out, okay? So, not, it's not going to be on surface level, all right? The truth ain't going to be on surface level, all right? It's obscured, okay? This is what I have obtained. Okay, and because I have obtained this um, via the Spirit, people feel some type of way, okay? So, and they're afraid of it, all right? Yeah, they're afraid of it, all right? Because if we go to dictionary.com, if we go to dictionary.com, they have a different definition of obscure. Their definition of obscure is not clear or plain, ambiguous, vague, or uncertain. Um, they're saying that it's dark, right? Hold on. I know I just seen where they were saying dark. And here it is. Dark, dim, murky, all right? Lacking in light or illumination. All right, lacking in light or illumination, dark, dim, murky. Like, that's crazy, all right, um, because it is full of light. It is full of illumination, what I've been given, okay? <clears throat> but it's the invisible, okay? Just like the video that we're going over by my brother, um, Morial, seek the invisible, not the visible, Okay? Seek the invisible, not the visible. All right? Let me show y'all that again one more time. Hold on a second. I'm going to close out of that obscure definition. <clears throat> Why they 
keep recommending freaking camp channels, bro. I keep telling them don't be recommending that crap to me. All right, so this video right here, seek the visible, not seek the invisible. Seek the invisible, not the visible to find the truth. Okay? Seek the invisible, not the visible to find the truth. Seek the invisible, not the visible, okay? Seek the invisible, not the visible, all right? Hold on a second. Let me look up that obscure again. Not discovered, known or about, okay? Kept from being seen, all right? Concealed, okay? Is is unclear, but it's clear to me, but it's unclear to the people who are thinking with a carnal mindset. Okay, when you have yet to renew your mind, of course, it's going to be unknown to you. It's going to be scary to you. I don't understand what the hell is going on with my OBS, bro. Being like... I am not carnal minded. I'm spiritual minded, okay? So, uh, let me read that again. So then, you... My brother Thomas have beheld what is obscure to men. That is what they ignorantly stumble against. Okay? People have set themselves as an enemy against me. All right? For what I have been led to speak. But we are at the end. <clears throat> you seriously think that this is going to continue where you're trampling good-hearted people? You know, they have that saying, nice guys finish last. Well, that, were, that, that was only during the time of the worst of the heathen. Okay? <laughs> because the worst of the heathen established survival of the fittest. Okay? And this is just absolute wickedness. Like, the more evil and heinous and sinister you are, you know, the more you're, the more clout you have, the more honor you receive, okay? You know, savagery is glorified, all right? People want to be savage, like that's something cool. Now, Thomas said to the Ascended Master, um, to the Messiah, <clears throat> Therefore, I beg you to tell me what I ask you before your ascension. Therefore, I beg you to tell me what I ask you before your ascension. And when I hear from you about the hidden things, then I can speak about them. And it is obvious to me that the truth is difficult to perform before men. It is obvious to me that the truth is difficult to perform before men. It is obvious to me that the truth is difficult to perform before men. The Savior answers saying, if the things that are visible to you are obscure to you, how can you hear about the things that are not visible? That's a good question, Hamashiach. Most people can only see this superficial carnal ass world. That's what's visible to them. All they can see is what's been established within this system that you must have money in order to sustain your life. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Alright. Hold on a second. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, because this is what we're taught. Alright, we're taught that this is the way of the world. Alright, so 
we're forced to follow the ways of this world, okay? Those that, you know, refuse to rebel, you don't want to rebel against this. I'm rebelling against this because I know that I was not created to do this, okay? But see, those who benefit from an evil system will not speak against the evil. Neither will those who are enslaved by it. I am no longer spiritually or mentally enslaved by this system, this false reality, because I've been awakened in a land of my captivity. Though I am physically still up under this captivity. Hold on. I am physically in his captivity, a slave of necessity. I can choose to put my trust and faith in an outside power, okay? A power outside of this evil-ass system, okay? Because I know that this evil-ass system ain't all there is, okay? There is a higher power. Therefore, I speak out against the evil of this system, okay? But those who are wholly enslaved by it, they're physically, mentally, and spiritually enslaved, they ain't going to speak out against it, okay? And because we're speaking out against it, the few of us, one second, people get angry at us, okay? When I speak out against the system, this is how my family sees me. This is why my family demonizes me, all right? When I speak out against the system, my family think that I'm criticizing them, okay? They think I'm speaking against them. People that identify with the system think I'm criticizing them, that I'm speaking out against them. And that is, of course, because they fully accept the system. They identify themselves with it. Okay, that's not my fault. All right, you can't blame me because you want to attach yourself and identify yourself with this evil ass system. Okay, that's on you. Okay, you chose to do that. You chose to put your heart and soul into this false ass reality. So please stop being salty with me. I'm here to shine light on this evil. All right? This is evil. There's a higher power outside of this, okay? I'm no, I'm no longer going to be attached to this. I'm setting myself free spiritually and mentally. I'm set free, okay? But yes... I am still a slave of necessity. Therefore, I am long-suffering because of the hardness of the hearts of the people. Due to public opinion and or fear of prosecution, they are hardening their hearts against me, against their own consciousness to conform to this false reality instead of standing with me. Come on, bro. This computer tripping. Most people can only see this superficial carnal ass world that's what's visible to them all they can see is what's been established within this system that you must have money in order to sustain your life that's all they can see okay you can't sustain your life without money they know this all right and if the things that are visible to you um, are obscure to you. So now in this aspect, what's obscure to you is what I'm saying. Okay. The truth that I'm speaking to you is obscure to you. Okay. It's obscure. 
All right, because I have the clarity and the understanding. It's obscure to you because though you can see the things that I'm saying, all right, you living in this physical ass world. Okay, you living in this reality that was established by the wicked. We all are. All right, and they have established that you need money to live and sustain your life in this phys in this reality. Okay. That that's what's visible to you, and that's what you choose to do because that's what's been established. All right. So what I'm saying is obscure to you, even though you know that it sucks working your jobs, even though you know that the earth provides freely. Okay. Even though you know the things that I've been given to speak is absolute truth. You know damn well that it's evil for billionaires to be walking around. It's evil for people to be hard in money while there's people that are suffering, okay? you Even though you can clearly see that there's people on the street, living on the street, okay? Homelessness, people that are starving. You can clearly see that there's something wrong with that, all right? And you clearly hear the things that I'm saying to you. But yet it's obscure to you. It's uncertain. It's unclear. Well, how are we supposed to make? We, we, we're we not strong enough to change, you know, this system, this society. So we have to do what we have to do. And who are you to try to, you know, change it? And, and you're not going to get my help. And, you know, you just, you harden your heart. Okay? This is what has happened. Okay? People have hardened their heart against me. All right, because I am not complacent in this wickedness, okay? Because it's obscure to you. How can you hear about the things that are not visible? So this is why you blow me off as nonsense. You blow you blow me off as if I'm nothing. Like what I what I'm saying is irrelevant. You can't receive it. Okay? If the deeds of the truth that are visible in the world are difficult for you to perform, if the deeds of the truth that are visible in the world are difficult for you to perform, how indeed then shall you perform those that pertain to the exalted height? And to the pleroma, which are not visible. Pleroma. Pleroma. All right. This is the highest kingdom, the celestial kingdom. All right. Um, the spiritual universe as the abode of the most high and of the totality of the divine powers and emanations. All right. This is my first time looking this up. Which I'm interested. Like, wow. Christ consciousness, bro. I'm going to have to get this. I need my freaking Photoshop. Wow. So it's basically the celestial kingdom. You know. All right. So let me read that again. If the deeds of the truth that are visible in the world are difficult for you to perform, and it's very difficult, but I've been performing these deeds, okay? I've been living the eternal law of love your neighbor as you do yourself, doing for others that which you will want done for yourself. Refraining from doing to others things that you will not want done to yourself. I've literally been doing these deeds of truth. All right. Yes, I have. And it has been difficult because it's not been reciprocated back to me. As a matter of fact, people have hardened their heart even more to me. 
But if you don't, if you're not doing these deeds um, of truth right here in this physical world now, then how then shall you perform those that pertain to the exalted height <clears throat> and to the paroma, which are not visible? See, this is why you're not going to reach that kingdom. Okay, because you can't be trusted in that kingdom. You can't keep the deeds here when it's visible. What is evidently crystal clear, what happens when you don't keep the eternal law of love? We're living in the world that's the complete uh truth of the matter of what, what like how a world would be that's lacking divine love we live in that okay we live in that we live in a society that's lacking divine love and people know it all right most people ain't got no love in their heart no true divine love Instead, they love their money. So, it's like, this is the testimony. Okay? This probation. How in the hell, bro? You know, you, it's you that's refusing to humble yourself. Is you that's refusing to repent and change your heart? Time. You are not supposed to be in them blinds and you know it. You, you're refusing to repent. You're refusing to repent and change your heart and begin to keep the eternal laws of love, life, and purity. Instead, you help to create more misery and suffering, especially against the ones of us who are keeping this divine law of love and life and all things good. So if the deeds of the truth that are visible in the world, all right, if the deeds of the truth that are visible in the world are difficult for you to perform. Okay? Loving your neighbor as you do yourself. You don't want to do that because you don't want to be taken advantage of. You don't want to do that because you don't trust nobody. You don't want to do that because you've been hurt too many times, right? So now you can't forgive. You shut up your heart of compassion. You shut up your heart of kindness. You shut up your heart of empathy mercy and all of these good things but you can see the deeds of the truth visible in this world time no you are getting way too comfortable up there you need to stop no get the hell from out of there now go mm -mm, mm -mm. no no you put all kinds of holes in the freaking screen Stay out of the blinds. Sorry, people. Stay out of the blinds. Now, so you you people can clearly see that the deeds of the truth are visible in this world, and it's difficult for you to perform the deeds of truth. All right, love. Okay? So how is it that you professing that you about to be raptured up to the kingdom? Because the Messiah asking you, how indeed then shall you perform those that pertain to the exalted height and to the pleroma, which are not visible? You can't keep it here where you can clearly see the outcome of the lack of kindness 
love, kindness, mercy, and empathy, compassion for humanity and all creation. Okay? You can't keep it here where it's very evidently crystal clear. The outcome of the lack of these things. So how in the hell do you think you're going to keep it in the kingdom? And how shall you be called laborers? In this respect, you are apprentices and have not yet received the height of perfection. Okay? Now Thomas answered and said to the Savior, Tell us about these things that you say are not visible, but are hidden from us. The Savior said, All bodies, the beasts are begotten. It is evident like this too, those that are above, things that are visible, but they are visible in their own root. And it is their fruit that nourishes them. But these visible bodies survive by devouring creatures similar to them. With the result that the bodies change. Now that which changes will decay and perish. And has no hope of life from then on. Since that body is bestial. So just as the body of the beasts perish, so also will these formations perish. Do they not derive from intercourse like that of the beast? If it too derives from the intercourse, how will it beget anything different from the beast? So therefore you are babes until you become perfect. Many of my brothers love living in their carnal, bestial body. Okay? The flesh is beast. Okay? We are not beast. We are spirit within a fleshly body. Now, <clears throat> this is straight up confirmation. I had never read this before. But I have been receiving these revelations by way of the spirit. That we are not to live according to our carnal flesh. But according to the spirit that is within our flesh. Okay? One second. I'm going to bring up a few connections here. And then um, we're probably going to um, wrap it up here really soon and, and start another one. Okay? Because I really don't want this to be too long of a video. We're going on close to two hours. Okay? We are going on close to two hours. All right, so yes, we have to overcome our flesh, all right? Um, not be comfortable and complacent in our flesh. And one second. I'm gonna try to go over this quickly. All right. All right. All right, now. Everything you are now will decompose after you die. Why so much pride? Why you letting your ego rule you? Why so much greed? Why you being selfish? Why so much evil? Why so much ego, people? For what? For what? What does it profit you to gain the whole world? Living lavishly in this carnal ass life, but then losing your soul in eternity. This life is temporary. We are to discipline our flesh, discipline the beast, bring it into alignment with the eternal word of the Most High, the all power of love life, and all things good. Don't let your flesh rule you. Walk in the spirit. Okay? Those who belong to the Messiah, his sheep, we have crucified the flesh with his passions and desires. Peep Galatians 5.24. 
This I say then, walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Pete Galatians 5.16 We have to overcome our flesh. Not be ruled and dictated to by our carnal flesh. Open your spiritual eyes. Do not be deceived. The devil prowls around like a roaring lion to see who he may devour. Most people see the world through different lenses of the flesh. Okay? Most people see this carnal ass flesh. Okay? You wanting to view things on surface level. All right? All females got to dress the same, act the same, wear your head wraps, wear freaking long dresses. You know, you can't wear pants. You can't do this. You can't do that according to your body that you were born in. Okay? All males have to be masculine. All males have to be authoritative and assertive and all of these things. All females have to be submissive, all right? Have to be docile, okay? That's superficiality, people, okay? I'm here to bust this lie wide open, all right? People have been forced into constructed, social, constructed belief systems, okay? Socially constructed boxes, all right? Ideologies of this world, okay? The physical body is not all there is, people. It is literally just a vessel to carry your spirit, all right? I see the spirit. All right, I look at the actions and the deeds of the people that's within the fleshly body, okay? And most of you, your deeds are wicked, okay? So you walking around looking like this, no matter what you look like on an outer package, okay? Whether you're male, female, it don't matter whether you 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 look good by this world standards, okay? Handsome or beautiful by this world standards, all of that's superficial. How do you treat people? What does your heart look like? What's your actions? What's your deeds? How do you carry yourself? Do you treat your neighbor the way that you want to be treated? Or do you treat people the way you would not want to be treated? This is what you look like if you're treating people how you wouldn't want to be treated. If you're doing things to people that you would not want done to yourself. Things that you would not want done to yourself. This is how you look into the most high. Okay? The law is written upon our heart, people. Okay? It's already within us. It's embedded within our conscience. All right? Stop putting all your whole emphasis on an outer Freaking package. Surface level bull crap. Okay? Walk in the dang spirit, people. Those who belong to the Hamashiach will walk in the spirit, not our carnal flesh. We have crucified our flesh with its passions and lustful desires. Therefore, we have a renewed mind. We have Christ consciousness. Okay? We've been born again. Baptized by fire. Okay? We are the light upon the earth. Now. But we're to tame the beasts of the flesh. Okay? And walk in the spirit. Not out here having intercourse like the beast. Not out here devouring flesh and blood like the beast. And Thomas answered, Therefore I say to you, Lord, that those who speak about things that are invisible and difficult to explain are like those who shoot their arrows at a target at night. 
He just described me. You know, it's like I've been shooting my arrows at a target at night. You know, it's, it's like it's, it's, it's almost like to no avail that I'm speaking this living word. To be sure, they shoot their arrows as anyone would since they shoot at the target, but it is not visible. Yet, when the light comes forth and hides the darkness, then the work of each will appear. And you are light, enlightened, O Lord. So yes, it's those that are seeking that will be able to pick up what I'm putting down, okay? The Messiah said, it is in light that light exists. Thomas spoke saying, Lord, why does this visible light that shines on behalf of men rise and set? He's talking about sun. The Savior said, oh, bless Thomas. Of course, this visible light shines on your behalf, not in order that you remain here, but rather that you might come forth. And whenever all the elect abandon bestiality, then this light will withdraw up to its essence and its essence will welcome it since it is a good servant. Then the Savior continued and said, O oh, unsearchable love of the light, O oh, bitterness of the fire that blazes in the bodies of men and in their marrow, kindling in them night and day, and burning the limbs of men, and making their minds become drunk, and their souls become deranged, then within the males and females, night and moving them, secretly and visibly, for the males move upon the females, and the females move upon the males. Therefore it is said, everyone who seeks the truth from true wisdom will make himself wings so as to fly, fleeing the lust that scorches the spirits of men. We are to be pure before the eyes of our maker, the maker of our spirit the lover of our soul. We're not here to be gratifying our flesh, having sex. We are to flee the lust that scorches the spirits of men. I'm here to multiply spiritually, not physically. We will make ourselves wings to flee every visible spirit of lust. And Thomas answered saying, Lord, this is exactly what I'm asking you about since I have understood that you are the one who is beneficial to us as you say. Again, the Savior answered and said, therefore it is necessary for us to speak to you since this is the doctrine of the perfect. Okay, this is for the celestial kingdom. If now you desire to become perfect, you shall observe these things. All right? If not, your name is, quote, ignorant. Since it is impossible for an intelligent man to dwell with a fool. For the intelligent man is perfect in all wisdom. To the fool, however, the good and the bad are the same. Mixing good and evil together. Indeed, the wise man will be nourished by the truth. And Psalms 1-3 will be like a tree growing by the mindering stream. Seeing. Hold on a second.
He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Okay? One second. Here's a visual. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the eternal law of the Most High. And on the eternal law we meditate day and night. We will be like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. And all that we do shall prosper. Because it's not for our glory, but it's for the glory of the maker of our spirit, the lover of our soul. And for the save, the salvation, the this, this, this saving of all humanity and all creation. You know, because when I was communing with the Most High about how I want to be free, and you know, he's like, yes, I realize that, but it's not just about your freedom. It ain't just about your freedom. So I'm like, yeah, it's, you know, it's not just about my freedom. You're right about that. Because, hold on a second. One second. There was something else that I had gotten to. I gathered this. Hold on. If I can find it. Oh, freedom, freedom, freedom. One second. All right. Um, and, and then I got more confirmation on top of that about um, being a free spirit. Hold on. Uh, I don't understand why I can't find this because it wasn't that long ago that I saved this, I don't think. Uh, not all are free until everybody is free, bro. So where is that at? Hold on. Hmm. One second. Okay, here. If you think you love freedom, but you don't care if it applies to everyone... What you actually love is privilege, okay? So, you know, this was confirmation that came to me um, on, from, I think it was on Facebook that I came across this and saved it. Um, it was after I was communing, I'm like, you know, and the father was like, it's not just you um, that needs to be freed. All humanity and all creation needs to be freed um, from the clutches of Satan, all right? Um, so yes, it's not just about my freedom, okay? And those who have been able to live, you know, quote unquote, free, you know, not really a slave to, you know, economic slavery, you know, because they've been handed down the generational bag of blessings from Lucifer, all right, that was gotten in wickedness, okay? There's been a lot of these Gentiles that's been able to live in this so-called privilege, okay? But, you know, it was only for a certain amount of time, all right? And so you are not really free, all right? You about to go into bondage, all right? But I'm here to help free all humanity and all creation, all right? And the confirmation of that, one second, hold on, let me check this out. Freedom means you are unobstructed in living your life as you choose, okay? Right now, we're, we're not unobstructed. Because of this wicked ass economic system that was established by the wicked. Okay, so we face things like being thrown out on the street without a roof over our head to cover our shame. You know, not able to use the bathroom, not able to keep up with our personal hygiene. Okay, having a roof over your head is a bare necessity. That's human decency. But this is stripped from humanity. 
if they refuse to be a slave for money. So that ain't true freedom. True freedom means that you are unobstructed in living your damn life as you choose. Anything less is a form of slavery. Hurt people hurt others, but luckily healed people heal others. Safe people shelter others. Free spirits, I'm a free spirit, therefore I'm here to help free others. Enlightened people, I was awakened in a land of my captivity, awakened spiritually, therefore I was enlightened, therefore I'm here to help illuminate others. And love always wins. So I'm instructed to keep shining my light of love on all who may cross my path in life. Because what I'm doing does matter, regardless of how it's being ignored and regardless of how I'm being mistreated for being obedient to my spiritual mission. People must love this life, bro. They must love being a slave to money. But I am like a tree planted by the stream of water that yields its fruit in its season. And my leaf does not wither. And all that I've been led to do will prosper. Seeing that there are some who, although having wings, rush upon the visible things, things that are far from the truth. Seeing that there are some who, although having wings, rush upon the visible things. All right? These are those of the terrestrial kingdom. Okay? Things that are far from the truth. All right? Like mixing good and evil and placing that on a deity. For that which guides them, the fire, will give them an illusion of truth. And will shine on them with a perishable beauty. And it will imprison them in a dark sweetness. And captivate them with fragrant pleasure. Like pleasure island. And it will blind them with insatiable lust. And burn their souls. And become for them like a stake stuck in their heart. Which they can never dislodge. And like a bit in the mouth, it leads them according to its own desire. And it has fettered them, and it has fettered them with its chains, and bound all their limbs with the bitterness, with the bitterness of the bondage of lust for those visible things that will decay and change and swerve by impulse. They have always been attracted downwards as they are killed. They are assimilated to all the beasts of the perishable realm. Right? So you get the telestial kingdom, which is the worst. And you got the terrestrial kingdom, which is a little bit better than telestial, but it's still perishable. Okay? Um, still not perfection. Okay? Um, only the celestial is perfection. All right? Thomas answered and said, It is obvious and has been said, Many are those who do not know soul. All right? They don't know their own soul. All right? They're so busy living in their carnal ass flesh. And they think it's all about this physical flesh, and it's not. All right, one second. Let me 
give you a visual. All right, because this is what it is, people. People so busy living in their carnal flesh that they forget to live in the freaking spirit. Okay, one second. Where is it at, bruh? Um, I think this did I put superficial? Hold on. Lovers of themselves. Uh, okay, this one. Which is basically lovers of the world, okay? And the Messiah tells you to love not the world, okay? It tells you that these are the last days. People will be lovers of themselves. Lovers of their own selves, all right? Selfish, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to the eternal law and to their caretakers, unthankful, unholy, Without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontent, all right? Because, you you know, them demons that's in you is insatiable, all right? Greed and selfishness is an unquenchable demon, all right? You cannot quench that demon of lust and greed and selfishness and or even hatred, Okay, therefore you are fierce, you are despisers of those that are good, you're traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, rather than lovers of Yahuwah, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, I don't know why I can't find that, bro. Or is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. So, people are so worried about living life physically that they never get the chance to experience life spiritually. Okay? This is all superficiality. All right? That this world was trying to force upon me. Like, I'm supposed to dress and act like these people. Like, I am nowhere near that. Okay? I am the complete opposite of this. Okay? But because I was born in a female body, you know, people were literally trying to force this upon me. They were like, if you're not doing this, then you are an abomination. Uh, no. Alright? That's all superficiality. Okay? And I ain't a lover of this world. All right? Mm. He told us, you know, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. All right, so that's nothing but Pleasure Island, okay? There's no love in Pleasure Island. All there is in Pleasure Island is just gratification of the flesh. Get whatever you can get. Please yourself, all right? Please your flesh. Don't worry about the spirit. Don't worry about the soul, all right? You didn't sold your soul. For the pleasures of this world. And the Savior answered saying. Blessed is the wise man who sought after the truth. And when he found it he rested upon it forever. And was unafraid of those who wanted to disturb him. Thomas answered and said. It is beneficial for us Lord. To rest among our own. Here's a question. He answered and said, Is it beneficial for us, O Lord, to rest among our own? 
Now, I'm going to go ahead and stop it here, people. We are at the two-hour uh, mark, okay? We're at the two-hour mark. I am going to bring you more, okay? I'm going to try to complete this today, all right? Because there's no guarantees, okay? I'm going to try not to talk too dang much, bruh, because, um, you know, I got to get this out. I got, I got to get this message out today, all right? And um, I, I've been up since around 6-something this morning, um, kind of like right at like 6 early, you know, before 6.10 or so, it was probably like 6.08 when I woke up, all right, and, um, so I'm getting kind of hungry, I don't eat all day, all right, but I am going to come back and, and finish this up for you the best that I can, okay, because ain't no guarantees tomorrow, all right, uh, my second extension for this internet, um, comes to an end tomorrow, all right, there has still been no love shown to me, all right, so I'm facing a huge mountain of my internet being cut, all right, I'm facing a huge mountain of my rent not being paid, all right, so I'm facing eviction, all right, I'm also um, without a whole bunch of things that I want and need, okay, I'm out of TP, all right, I'm pretty much practically out of tobacco, I've been out of freaking herb, all right, so, bruh, you know, this is my life, okay, but I shall be right back, shalom.